E-Tech plug-in hybrid technology relies on two electric motors. The first is used to power the vehicle in what we refer to as all-electric mode. It can also generate energy during deceleration. The second has several functions. It is used for repeated starts of the internal combustion engine, to synchronize gear changes in the automatic gearbox, to stabilize the transitions between the electric motor and the internal combustion engine, and lastly to recover energy during deceleration. The 400 volt traction battery is located in the floor under the rear bench seat cushion. This means there is no impact on luggage compartment load space and the modularity of the split rear bench seat is retained. Depending on the driving mode chosen and on your driving style, this battery will need to be recharged. That is what is so great about a rechargeable hybrid vehicle. Unlike a hybrid vehicle, you can charge your traction battery yourself using the charging lead provided in your boot. You can therefore always take to the road with the battery charged to the maximum of its capacity to make the most of the 100% electric drive mode and make bigger fuel savings. This battery is also charged by the energy recovery system during successive phases of deceleration and braking. And the petrol engine can be used on its own to keep the battery charged, even with the vehicle stationary. It will stop once the traction battery is sufficiently charged. This traction battery powers the electric motors via the orange leads that can be seen under the bonnet on new Renault Capture E-Tech plug-in hybrid. This symbol, lightning flash, is used on all of the high-voltage electrical components. Any work on this 400-volt electrical circuit must be carried out by a Renault agent. The conventional 12-volt battery is retained to power all of your vehicle's equipment, such as the headlights, windscreen wipers and electric windows. It is fitted in the luggage compartment floor to the rear.